little store called Bean Clothing. I never bought from them before, but I've been eyeballing this t-shirt for like the past two years and I just checked back on their website and there's only one left, so I was like, okay, I have to get it. They're a small independent vegan clothing company based in Wolverhampton. Our aim is to promote a plant-based lifestyle in a way that is approachable and welcoming as possible, and we believe there is a space for all forms of spreading a vegan message. We use ethical production methods, environmentally friendly, and sustainable resources in all of our products. So it says 42 days with a little chicken head on it. That is the average lifespan of a chicken in captivity. Um, raised in a factory farm. So a lot of the animals that are raised for food and their byproducts, they are only, they're killed when they're babies. Even if they were killed as adults, I don't think that would be appropriate either, but I think it would be a little bit different if people knew that they were eating babies for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But yeah, in this video I wanted to share some of my healthy eating tips and kind of ways that I stay healthy. One of my tips is to eat fruits and vegetables in different <laughs> ways. And what I mean by that is, you may not like something raw, but you might like it steamed like broccoli. I don't like raw broccoli. I do not eat raw broccoli, but I like it steamed. You may not like carrots steamed, but you might like them raw with some sort of like hummus dip. You might not like kale in a salad, but you might like it juiced or in a smoothie. You might not like a fruit or vegetable one way, but you might like it a different way. So experiment in the kitchen a little bit, or you might like a different variety of something like mangoes. I don't like, I don't know what kind of mango they are, but just almost like the kind of mango that you can just get all year round. I don't like those kind of mangoes. They're very fibrous and stringy. I'll put those in a smoothie. Um, but I won't eat them straight up. The only um, mango that I like to just slice and eat is an Altalfo mango. Um, they're also called champagne mangoes and honey mangoes. So try fruits and vegetables in different ways before you just give up and say, oh, I don't like this. But also on the flip side, don't eat something you don't like just because it's healthy. I know so many people who have done this, they you know, eat something just because it's healthy and, you know, regardless if they like it or not. And it just makes eating healthy just not enjoyable. It makes it a chore. You're a lot more likely to end up eating junk food or something that isn't healthy. I know a lot of people, they don't like kale and they force themselves to eat kale salads. I know people, they don't like apples, but they make themselves eat an apple every day. Like for me, I cannot stand papaya. Um, I've tried to like watermelon. I don't like it, so I don't eat it. You know, I mean, there's plenty of other healthy fruits and vegetables. Venture out and try things. Things, but if you don't like it, you don't like it. Another tip is to add juices and smoothies to your diet. With the juice, you can pack in those vitamins, get a lot more vitamins in one sitting, but it does remove almost, if not all, of the fiber. But with a smoothie, all the fiber is left in, but you're not going to get as much vitamins as you would a juice. And especially where greens are concerned, it's a, it's a more enjoyable way to get your greens in. A lot of people don't like to chew their greens, like chew salads and stuff, but Getting them in a juice or smoothie um, helps people add some greens into their diet. What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't shop without a list. If you plan your meals out and get your list according to what you need for those meals, you're a lot less likely to wander. Kind of get what you need and get out. If you shop with a list, you're just less likely to wander and go for the packaged junk food without it. And my last tip right off is to drink enough water. A lot of people don't drink enough water. My sort of rule of thumb is to drink half my body weight in ounces. To make it easy, let's just say I weigh 150 pounds. So divide that in half, that would be 75. So for me, I would need to drink 75 ounces of water a day to get enough. I do tend to drink more water than that because I breastfeed and I exercise and I'm active. The more you stay hydrated with water, the less you're gonna wanna go for the energy drinks and the soda. I never have water far away from me. It's always with me. It's always right beside me at work. It's always beside my bed. Yeah, this is what I have. I have a reusable water bottle. So yeah, I don't drink coffee. I don't drink energy drinks. I don't drink bottled juices from the store. I don't drink soda. I, yeah just water all the time every day you can also instead of just drinking straight water you can add some lemon juice or lime juice you can make like infused waters with like strawberry and mint or you put cucumbers in there you know you can make your own flavored water if that would be more appealing to you yes yeah, so drinking enough water is a good healthy habit to have